right, welcome back. Southeast must play better politics to get the ultimate office. Femi additional. All right, the news in detail. The special advisor to President Mamadou Buhari on media and publicity, Femi Adeshina, has said that Southeast must play good politics if they truly want to get the ultimate office in the country come 2023. All right, Adeshina disclosed this in his article titled Div Umai's Art of Lion. He said that the likes of Oji Kalos, Ope, Uzode Mas, Chris Ngegez, and Dave Umai are beaming the light so that the Igbo can find their way to the presidency. I've always said it, the Southeast must play better politics to get the ultimate office in the country. Slipping and facing the same direction may not be the best Option. The OG Kalus, Ope Uzodemas, Chris Ngeges, Dave Umais, and many others are now shining the light so that their people can find a way and so let it be. Southeast had had the argument that 2023 presidency belongs to them. Chronologically, the eastern part of the country had stated that other regions had ruled the country except southeast nothing, that it is their turn come 2023 to get to the ultimate office. However, Adeshina said that what Umayi exhibited last month in crossing from PDP to APC can best be described as the art of a lion okay there were three prominent red caps dotting the hall as the all progressives congress apc held its national executive committee nec meeting on tuesday at the council chambers of the presidential villa in abuja Type of caps are often symbolic of the parts of the country you hail from. Red is typical of the East, particularly if you are a title older. And these three were no mean men. Okay, the first red cap adorned the head of Chief Oji Uzokalu, a former two term governor of Abia State and an early comma to the APC from his region of the country. He caught the vision of a renaissance Nigeria early enough. He used to belong to the People's Democratic Party PDP and the Progressive People's Alliance PPA. All right, the second recap sat daintily on the head of Op Uzodema, another wise man from the East and governor of Imo State. He also used to belong to the PDP till he had a Damascus Road experience like the Biblical Saul who became Paul. All right, and then um, as it is, the third red cap man of the moment and star of the NEC meeting. Every mention of his name drew an applause. Chief Dave Umai, an engineer and governor of a Boeing state. Umai had been a PDP man possibly all of his political career. He was a, de he was a deputy governor to Martin Elechi for eight years, succeeded him as governor and is now in his second term. Umayi had always loved and respected President Muhammadu Buhari and never eat it, though they were of different political parties and the president reciprocated in like manner. In fact, the first state the president ever visited in the country and passed the night was a boy. Umayi was PDP 
in the exterior but apc at art my first inkling of what was on the way was about two years ago there was a meeting of progressive congress uh, there was a meeting of progressive governors as those elected on the platform of apc are uh, called and Governor Mai had sent his deputy to attend a PDP man among APC governors. Something was definitely cooking. Now, the deed has been done. Governor Umai has done what Napoleon couldn't do. He has officially crossed from the PDP to APC. Only a man with the art of a lion could do that. Do you remember? the 1978 reggae song by a musician called hi roy we were boys then and we loved that music a sort of dj chant in the jamaican patois you were young in the 70s and didn't know hi roy you sure missed an exciting part of early life okay the title of the album was art of a lion it was a star eat and no party was complete without it. If you suffered from reggae mailites as did then, High Roy was a chart buster. The album featured other eat tracks like Sister Nelly and Casmas Town. What Umayi exhibited last month in crossing from PDP to APC can best be described as the heart of her lion. We know how the region he hails from has long been overtaken by the PDP and with title with little to show for it. Their roads were de dilapidated, dilapidated bridges rickety and in fact the second bridge over the river Niger was built by Maut for the 16 years PDP held sway. Now, President Buhari is building the bridge and is poised to complete it in 2022. Holy Moses. Okay. Why did the Southeast hold tenaciously to PDP despite being given the shorter end of the stick? Nobody knows till people like Oji Uzokalu, Ope Uzodema, and now. Dave Umai began to ask questions and followed it with pragmatic action. That was how and why an APC neck meeting was dotted by three prominent red caps. Wonders are part of the world and will never end. Okay, see what the entrance of Umai into APC has done for the party when in the year 2015. Hurricane Buhari blew in the APC at 24 governors. PDP had 11 and all progressive Grand Alliance APGA had one. But due to schemes and wrangling, APC states began to dwindle till it was almost 18 to 17. Zamfara, Bauchi, Sokoto, Benue, or Yo Edo were all lost if Undo had not been won by Ara Konriroti Miyakaridolu a couple of months back. It would have been the nunk dimites of APC. The party was fast vanishing and the ogres for 2023 were not good. All right, and um, as it is, victory in Ondo was good. It took the tally to 19 to 16. Then came the game changer, Eboim came into the bag and it became 20 to 15. Anambra still remains APGA and APC that almost couldn't breathe again had a huge relief. See the configuration now, Southeast Imo and Ebo in Southwest, Lagos, Ogun, Oshun, Ondo, Ekiti, North Central, Niger, Nasarawa, Kogi, Kwara, Plateau, Northwest, Kano, Kadena, Kebi, Jigawa, Kasina, Northeast, Bono, Yobe, Gombe, 20 in all. 
all right and all of these have been said so far on to this and then uh, someone has said it that well hmm against additional right now that additional you are talking nonsense leave politics alone and think reasonably yes stop talking and no praising your so-called umayi and buhari okay like buhari politics is of failure yes that's with buhari you should forget it everybody knows that with buhari politics is no failed nigerians have failed okay in under buhari regime that's what people are saying right now well which one is better politics for not joining apc or what okay that has been said so far well and then a lot of people are saying like you people that played the best politics in nigeria how far nonsense okay i use apc chasing rats around while their mother's heart is on fire okay i see apc chasing rats around while their mother's heart is on fire all right a lot have been said so far on this one meanwhile let me have your take on this and remember to subscribe for more updates thanks and god bless